good morning. Is this the right Hello one? and good morning. Good morning, there we are. everybody. Hi. So, hello, hello. X-Ray is uh, setting up. She'll be joining us soon. She lost track of time. So, but so you've got, doing, you got uh, us. You're so lucky. I know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kara, you were saying that the yellow didn't work out last time on the Pikachu. Yeah. What did I miss last weekend? Yeah, so last week I was trying to do a, a like a coat of like this yellow from Vallejo, and it just it just wasn't working for me. I wasn't getting a good coat over it. And mm. so last night we went, well, my husband went and picked up a yellow spray paint for me so we oh. spray painted the pikachu yellow mm -hmm. and so today i'll be doing uh the rest of the face and the the body so the brown for the stripes on the back and the tail and the black on the ears and all that nice. stuff nice. cool nice. So, okay and it's still yeah. the, I, I just don't. remember that i needed to, to paint the bottom of it so i still need to do another coat of yellow for the like the very bottom but Everything else is two coats on it. <laughs> cool. so two it'll, thin it'll coats. Okay. What are you Very doing, nice. Matt? What's up? What are you doing? Oh, uh, I am continuing my journey into the kingdom of Bretonia with this uh, knight. Uh, I finished the first one, and I liked how that turned out. Uh, so I'm going to start doing this guy and see um, how I like it with a different undercoat of primer, see if it's a little bit brighter. And then, I, I don't know why, I had these guys laying around. These are some uh, Chaos Knights, um, and mm -hmm. I just love the, the look of them. So I started getting into these guys. Um, they kind of look like these Viking Marauders. Uh, so I thought that'd be cool to start in on like a five-man squad of these guys, so I have some of these um but yeah so kind of doing a little bit of everything this morning but it's been yeah. fun to uh to try out new painting techniques and try out different uh color schemes and whatnot on completely different models like ones that i've never touched before so this will mm -hmm. this will be interesting yeah. you getting getting inventive <laughs> look at you i mean I have to watch a couple YouTube videos first, and then I feel brave enough to be like, okay, I'll attempt this, but uh, before YouTube that... YouTube uh... is the creator of confidence. I will tell you that right now. Yes. That is so yeah. true. It really yeah. is. Like I, like, I cannot count how many um, YouTube videos I have watched in my life, and like, like the majority of how I've learned how to like paint miniature, like a majority of the stuff that I've learned how to do, I've learned from YouTube. Like it is absolutely insane. Like how helpful it can be whenever it comes to <laughs> like wanting to try something and then being like too anxious or, or too worried that you're going to fail. Like, it's really good at helping just kind of boost your confidence a little bit more and have a little bit more of like familiarity and at yeah. least a vision of like where you should like how or at least like how you can get from point a to b and then learning like youtube is amazing i noticed zilla i'm just i'm letting my friends talk right now sorry <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i did uh, not hear that uh what, what did you say Oh, no, I was talking in my chat really quickly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hi, Steph's morning, chat. Hi, in Max's chat. chat. Hi, good morning. Hi, my good chat. Morning, good <laughs> Bella, uh, Bella says, um, hello, streamer. Came to show love to the channel. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm doing a... I'm journaling this morning. Oh, so, you are? Uh, I am. I'm journaling this morning. I don't have any. I usually do. I usually build Legos, but I don't have a new a new one. I forgot to go and buy one uh, the other day. I don't have a new Lego set, so I'm journaling this morning. I have three journals. 
that I usually do. One is morning reflect, one is morning reflection. Another one is just doodles. And then the other one, I thought I would set up my April calendar since we're almost Ooh. to April. So that is what I'm doing this morning. Um, Very nice. Uh, yeah, I'm giving you guys a little peek into my journaling because usually this is very private, okay? <laughs> but um, I thought I would, I thought I would show you guys just like the simple stuff, the simple stuff. I used to do like bullet journaling and stuff, and I loved it. Yeah, that's what I do, uh, bullet journaling. So I have like, where is it at? See, I actually prefer right, so my notebooks nowadays like to be in that bullet format just because I yeah. like the versatility of it. I, I really like just like the dotted, uh, the, like for all oh, I my, love the dotted, like, like my daily to do yeah. lists, all that kind of stuff. And then I I'm one of those mm -hmm. I go through and like highlight with like by priority. I ha and I have my little like margin down at the bottom. Nerd. Shut up, you. Yeah. It keeps you like it keeps you organized. It's I just like that. Sunday. You you, you don't through. you exist you until you leave me. the house, and then you don't exist anymore. No, you want me to not exist when I'm here. Yeah, I think uh, I was always told, you know, oh, you know what? I'm actually I'm thinking of some something different, because a journal is different than a diary, right? Yes. Like, yeah. A journal is more so kind of organizing your thoughts but a diary is like your deep dark secrets <laughs> <laughs> it's yes more or no so or is that like <laughs> like for for a diary i mean i honestly have never kept a diary but from like it's more so a uh, i guess it is like your deep dark thoughts but it's also just a way to write out your feelings and try to understand them yeah and you can actually like see progress and like your your growth whenever it comes to like your thought processes and how you manage certain situations that kind of stuff mm -hmm. yeah i think it's so important to write out a lot of the things that uh that we're thinking or feeling like not i mean i know some people don't have the time to journal but um, I remember in college, I had a professor who always said like, you know, if you're frustrated or if you feel like you need to talk about something, but you don't have anyone around, you can always write it down or type it out or, you know, get in the practice of doing something like that. And normally, most of the time, it'll help it like you'll feel so much better because you're getting words onto paper or like typing something onto a screen. Um, I know that helps out with Twitter like a lot. Like yes. someone wants to respond to like a nasty comment and then they're like, you know what? Actually, I don't need to anymore because I got it all out on this notepad or something and it just like, it helps so much. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Why is this here? I need to move. Um, Steph, are those... Uh... Are those Lego sets fairly expensive? Because I feel like I, I've seen some. I'm just like, you get. okay. Yeah, Do, I already had my my next one planned. I was gonna get it, and it wasn't too expensive. It was only like thirty seven dollars. It was uh, a okay. bat wing. Um, Ooh. that was the next one that I was gonna get, but I just when I was at the store, I completely forgot to pick it up. So, the bat wang. Bat wang. Um, the bat wang. <laughs> Speaking of. Bat wangs. Um, did you appreciate the penguin trailer? You know, it got me intrigued. I'm not gonna lie. I am. I am intrigued. Okay. Um, I like. I like that. I like that. Uh, the tone that Matt. Uh, um, what's his name? Matt Reeves. Colin Farrell. No. What are you trying? Is the Batman? Isn't it Matt? It, is Matt, is Matt, Matt Reeves directing the show too? No, he's not. But it's set in that world that he created. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I like the I like the Gotham that world. Um, and I mean, I watched the Gotham TV show. Um. And I didn't. I didn't. Well, it it was kind of weird because it was, 
it was a show about like the villains and everything of, of Gotham. It was just a story about Gotham. And I feel like this is kind of uh, in the same realm where like it's a, it's a story about, you know, the, the uh, Gotham underground and everything and the penguin. I just don't know, like, uh, is it before Bruce? Because like in the Batman, I think Bruce had been operating in Gotham for like two years as Batman. I'm wondering if this is before that or... Well, in Gotham, During, in the show yeah. Gotham, wasn't that more so about, like, Bruce being a kid? Yeah. In the show Gotham, he that was before Bruce was ever Batman. He was a kid. Yeah. You know, so I'm, that's what I'm wondering about, about the Penguin show. Is it because in the Batman movie, he's only been operating for, like, two years? Yeah. In, I in think Gotham? this is the rise of the Falcones. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. That's a perfect setting. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I like it. I like that world. I like the CD underground. I like the Gotham uh, in that uh, in that particular movie. So, And I like Colin Farrell as the Penguin. I thought he was I good. think he did a great job. So I'm actually really excited for that. Yeah. I, uh, I like him a lot. Uh, I, I don't think there's been a, perfor a performance by him that I didn't enjoy um even his bullseye and daredevil that like everyone jokes about uh it's not great but it's still so tongue-in-cheek and like i don't know he's just chewing up the scenery uh i i really like him as an actor and a, and a person and he just goes for it whenever he's acting so um yeah i i like him a lot but morning Hi, good morning Hi. good morning that's I'm okay so sorry how <laughs> dare you do work <laughs> yeah, I, know. Right. I was like having so much fun researching and then i'm like oh look at the time Ooh. i'm supposed to be on a show Whoops. <laughs> did you uh find anything good anything juicy uh i mean we were talking about bigfoot cryptids um and I mean, I, I learned that the Loch Ness video was like not real due to Ooh. technology. I don't know, little things like that. But I never really believed in the creature a hundred percent either. In Bigfoot, like, Bigfoot, Loch Ness, a chupacabra. Oh man! When I was younger, I used to check out books from the library at school about like about all of that about bigfoot about Loch Ness monster oh. just so i could like learn about yeah i used to check out tons of books like that because nice. i was like really a into the in my area i can't remember what it is though what's it called i gotta remember i gotta find it i gotta figure i gotta remember what it was all i know is that we do have one because i remember walking into this tiny little shop on the side of the road and uh because they had like those like roasted peanuts or something that my that my uh that my in-laws wanted. Oh. And uh I just remember they had like a uh like taxidermy bust of uh what? Um, oh of the uh, <laughs> of the of the cryptid that they are you that they use to scare the kids in the area. Oh fun. <laughs> it's great. It's great. I need to I, I can't love remember it. what it's called. I remember growing up. I remember growing up, we didn't have like Bigfoot or anything, but my mom would tell us about the chupacabra. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. that is like scary. It's like a vampire wolf, so to speak. And I'm like, Yeah, okay. it's like, and it sucks it sucks blood. Um uh -huh. yeah, they used to tell us that to like keep us inside Aww. whenever they didn't want us to go outside. Oh, and there was Lord something the else eight. too. <laughs> there was something else. It was like a an owl, an owl with like red eyes too. Something else. That would like, be Mothman. There's Mothman up here in the uh... oh. Mothman. That's probably the one that you're thinking of. Yeah. Well, Mothman uh. is up in like West Virginia. Mm. My mom called it something else. She didn't call it Mothman though, but she said it was it was like a legend. Like if you see that, it's like a sign of death. Oh, Some, fun! You, you or someone in your family is going. Yeah, I was like, why are you telling me that? Now, She's like, I thought. Are you talking about an stuff. owl? Because there is a legend about owls out there about that. Yeah, yeah, it was an owl. Okay, mm -hmm. that's creepy, owl. and I love it. Because <laughs> like Creepier my mom always noted that as like a. She, she never knew if it was, like, a guardian angel for me, but 
or a or an omen because whenever I was young I was um I was really sick and I was on a heart monitor all the time and uh my my mom was telling me that whenever I was little any she'd always remember that anytime like my heart monitor would start to go off she'd hear an owl outside oh really really Ooh, creepy yeah. well, that's oh, creepy no. I, I kind of like that but like at the same time creepy. <laughs> Wow, Spirian in, in chat said he had a Bigfoot encounter when he was 12. What? Uh, Did you take pictures? Out of curiosity. Yeah. He said he loves Forbidden Kingdom. <laughs> With X-Ray Girl. Oh, Forbidden what? Frontier. Or Forbidden yeah. Frontier. Forbidden Frontier, yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, um, Forbidden Kingdom? Is this like an Asian thing? Uh, maybe? <laughs> that, that's a movie, yeah, he said silly. He said, he said Frontier, my bad. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm reading it as it's written. It's okay. My my English is horrible. It's fine. <laughs> He's How are you guys this morning? I had my coffee, so I'm good. Oh, nice. I uh I woke up super early at like five o'clock, so I didn't think I needed an alarm to tell oh, me what wow. time it was. So when I went to the bathroom, and that's when I was like, oh crap, I'm gonna be ten fifteen minutes late because I haven't gotten ready at all. So I apologize. Um, what, uh, what got you up so early? No idea. Just, just felt like, it happens. Mm. I feel like such an old lady saying that, like, yeah, <laughs> no. That happened my, my to me earlier this week. Me up. <laughs> but I know, uh, as you get older, you tend to just wake up just naturally <laughs> earlier. Mm. I don't. So I want to, though. Well, you stay up like super late. To be fair, you're like a night owl. Yeah, that's true. I'd say out of the two types of sleeper, um, I know Max is like an early morning person. Yeah, I'm all about that life. I, am I swear, not, I feel like I'm you wake bed. up like so happy every <laughs> single morning. Like, it's Me. And I'm ready to go. Yeah. I've seen him kind of grumpy in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of. <laughs> Just a little bit. But I even think, then, well, he was excited for Comic-Con, so we can't really know if that was like yeah, true grumpiness true. from Max or not. True grumpy. Um... That's fair. I mean, did I have coffee yet, X-Ray? Do you remember? No, and that's why you were a little grumpy. Not mm. in like a mean way. It was just like a uh, yeah. grumble, grumble, I'm grumble. Here. But yeah, I'm sorry. If, <laughs> I'm sorry if I came off as rude or anything. I oh um. My God, no. <laughs> oh, okay. You could never come off as rude. I was just saying oh. you're grumpy. I'm being tired. <laughs> um, this is a sleepy boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think normally, um, I, like I, I did, uh, I, I've only done a few conventions where I've stayed with someone, but having your, a room to yourself is like, it, it's a total game changer. Um, because when you're staying with someone, if you, if they don't know like your, um, priorities or they don't know how you wake up, it can be really, uh, controversial, right, I guess. So who, who was it that you're talking about? Is it me and Kara? That's all I care about. No, it, it wasn't you guys, actually. That was actually, uh, a, you know, a great opportunity because when we got to hang out, uh, we all hit, had each other's own spaces, right? But it's tough when you don't have that, like whether you're in the Marine Corps or you have to have like, a ho uh, you have to share a hotel room with someone, like, because if you don't understand how the other person works in the morning or at night, uh, it can be really difficult to, it's like having a sibling, you know, it's yeah. like in your space. Yeah. Right. Um, but thankfully with you guys, I, I was worried at first. Cause I was like, Oh, I, I hope, you know, I hope that we all, um, kind of understand each other's little nuances and turns out it was like perfect. Um, cause yeah, if we needed time alone or if we needed time to chill, we could, go back into you know our own rooms or whatever which was and nice. i wouldn't question it it would just be like a i'm gonna eh. go take a nap okay bye bye yep. yeah 100 <laughs> percent. 
Uh, and um, yeah, those little moments are really, really nice. Um, Cause there's no pressure, you know? Yeah. Speaking of which, I'm so freaking excited for Vegas. Oh yeah, yeah. that's so right. I'm stoked for it. I'm so excited. I know. I just miss Halloween so much. Okay, Spirian <laughs> said that he, did, he he was 12, so he didn't have there were no cell phones. He didn't have that. He said the only reason I know Bigfoot encounter was real is because my dad was special forces in Vietnam, and I'd never Whoa. seen him scared of anything, and he was scared, and he went and checked it out because I ran away. Ooh. Oh really? Whoa. I've heard some grumblings about like Bigfoot esque type in the Vietnam uh, war from vet or like online from vets, which is wild. So uh, weird, weird how these little stories. Now I, I'm like sometimes the brain is a one of the darnest things, so you can oh yeah make up stuff. But I, I just love hearing these stories because it just gives you the heebie-jeebies. It's kind of like ghost stories, but like more real, possibly. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I got a a, a bit, let's see, 100 bitties from uh, Storm Hunter says, a, a Mothman, a masked caped hero who goes around fighting crime dressed as a moth. His deadly weakness is bright lights to which he is unfortunately compulsively drawn to. <laughs> <laughs> Or fire. <laughs> or poor fire. Mom. Yes. Oh my god. Good morning, Magnus. The, the poor <laughs> bugs that like it, get introduced to my zapper on my bone. Poor bugs? What are you talking about? Bugs are the uh, worst. A good bug is a dead bug. That's right. You're, you're right. I'm sorry. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. That's that's what I, I hate thought. bugs. Yeah. yeah. We get bad mosquitoes here. Um, I don't know. Well, I know Florida did have or does have mosquitoes. I don't I know. I never we encountered a single mosquito when I was. Yeah. And we have them here mosquito. in North Carolina pretty well. We haven't had in Texas, though. Sucks. It really sucks. Oh, God. I'm I hate see them. if I have a better paint for this brown. Oh, wow. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the chat are saying that they're up pretty early as well like 4 a.m oh, 5 a.m yeah wow. guys in chat what i'm assuming there's i don't see any females uh what time do y'all wake up out of curiosity i like my sleep i uh you, you guys experienced that i like my sleep yes um, she does i try to be as quiet as possible you're also a light sleeper though that's the worst part i am a light sleeper and it's i hate that um but I've been doing better about waking up earlier, like today. Like, I was awake two hours before the stream. Oh, no. So, no, like, so I woke crazy. up at 8 a.m. my time. So wow. noise. And, like, the like there was a, a day earlier this week that I random Like, I didn't go to bed until midnight, but I randomly woke up at 5 in the morning and was wide awake all day. Gosh. And I felt I've the best before. rested I had in days. Wow. Body just is like, we don't need it anymore. Yeah. You're funny. Agnes says, happy Palm Sunday. Yes, happy Palm Sunday. Happy Sunday. What does one, what does one do on a Palm Sunday? Out of curiosity. Go to church. Oh, okay. So oh, this, uh, it's almost, I, it's I'm almost be, I get to go and harass Gary in person in two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be in San you Antonio. Guys, you guys huh? Go ahead. No, I said I'll be in San Antonio and Gary's lovely wife, Melissa, is going to cut and color my hair while I'm there. Ooh, oh. very nice. Ooh. Yes, because I have a wedding to go to while I'm there. That's the whole reason I'm going to San Antonio is because I have to go to my uh, my sister-in-law's wedding. You get to meet the whole crew. I oh. do. <laughs> I love that fam. They're, so, they're, they're mm -hmm. good. But it's been it's been nice. I'm so excited to see everybody. And then my birthday's this week. And then next this what? time next week I'll be in. We'll be no the week after I'll be in San Antonio. What uh, what day is your birthday? It's on Tuesday. We're gonna oh, celebrate. Oh, I was gonna say yeah. We need to do something to celebrate. Yeah. Well, happy well, early birthday. Birthdays in March. It's oh my insane. gosh, I know. Yeah. Because you had Mark's birthday, wasn't it? 
Uh, Mark, Jeremy, Melissa is yours. Other Jeremy. Yep, my Jeremy. Um, mm -hmm. and yeah, there's a lot of birthdays in Mark. Adam Krigler. Uh, there's more. I'm sure. I just, I'm going to pull up my calendar because otherwise I won't know. Um, my father's birthday. Brandon's birthday. Yep. Uh, Uche, may he rest in peace. His birthday yeah. is past as well so yeah tons of birthdays wow mm -hmm. krista's birthday is this month too krista did i not have that krista's birthday is the 25th isn't it um, the 25th yeah i think hers is right? tomorrow yeah hers is tomorrow oh, oh wow. i don't have her on my phone that's weird are I only know that anything? because chat told, well, because uh, chat was saying happy early birthday to Krista. So I asked her what day it was because, and I was like, oh, it's the day before mine. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and Daphne and chat's birthday is on Tuesday. Nice. That's exciting. Daphne, I better see you in my stream. If not, happy <laughs> early birthday. Just want to make sure just make, awesome. I say that. It is uh, a lot of parents getting down with it in the summertime it's i was just about season. to say so yeah <laughs> the, that's like, where our so, brain goes <laughs> <laughs> like what what is it about march why why what what holiday what's going on in Summer. no it's nine months before march is june so it's wedding season mm -hmm. wedding that's season. true oh. that's true too mm -hmm. that's true as well damn i'm a new year's baby so i was born in in a in uh, September. Mm. I was born in July, so I'm thinking I was like a Christmas baby, like a holiday. <laughs> mm. uh, happy holiday time. <laughs> Coming yeah. home for the holidays. I mean, what? Uh, oh, <laughs> the best thing you could ever have. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think, at least I think that's what what probably happened but now actually your birthday is coming up isn't it yes uh april 16 so Ooh, okay yeah so the week what after gonna... vegas yeah i will be escaping vegas then i'll be at home probably recuperating because i'll likely get sick knowing every meetup i go to i know right <laughs> <laughs> start loading up can... on that vitamin c now i know that vitamin can c and we... elderberry uh, yeah, can elderberry. we celebrate you in mm -hmm. Vegas, though? Since of we won't course. be with you the next week. And I'll be a cheap drunk, too. So, um, you know. <laughs> so if you're going to be at the F&T meetup either night or the Film Threat meetup, you know. Uh, I'll be all free. Buy her I'll a drink. Get her a birthday drink. Yeah, oh buy her God. a birthday drink. I need to survive <laughs> the whole week, too. And oh it looks Lord. like we have a very, very busy... Well, I have a very busy schedule, and I mean, everyone does realistically. Yeah, it's going to be nuts. Um, so Jason Webster for the five Australian says, hi, X-Ray, Kara, and Steph. I'm going to add Max to hi. that as well. I hope you lovely ladies have enjoyed a beautiful weekend, which I have. I don't know about you ladies. I have. I spent most of my morning yesterday playing Dragon's Dogma. Oh, are you Ooh. streaming it or just No, I solo? haven't been streaming it. I've been curled up on my couch in my blanket playing it. Oh, uh, that's nice. I have frustrations with certain things about quests, but that that's really it so far. Yeah, I was watching you. I, I had your stream up for a little bit yesterday. And was I trying to find Leonard? I don't know. I don't remember what you were doing because I'm trying not to pay like too much attention. Oh, okay. For spoilers, I but I ha I had you up because I wanted to give you the number. So thank you. You were lurking. I do that a lot too. <laughs> yeah, I lurk in a majority of the streams that go on in our community. Yeah, but uh, my only qualm with it so far is um, certain people that you have to talk to. They don't have their names above their heads, which I mean, it's kind of realistic. But then you're like. Where do I go? Who do I talk to? And it's just a generalized area. I'm like, can we get a better idea of what they look like at the very least? So well, I know. Well, for who the to Leonard one, didn't they say that he was going to be in the tavern? 
to get a drink? I don't remember. Yeah. Do I read? Probably not. Uh, I actually ended up finding him in, I think, was it Leonard? It might have been someone else, but in uh, Melv? Yeah. It was one of the Melv. Okay. He was not in the, was he in the tavern? I don't remember. But yes, um, clearly I didn't read. If that's the case, then. <laughs> what would you guys say is uh, one of your favorite parts of Dragon Dragon's Dogma? Is that what it's called? The I, graphics. I like the fighting mechanics. Yeah, the fighting mechanics um, are oh. good. You're doing, what kind of character did you make? I made originally a ranger, but then I decided to do um, a fighter. Ooh. Because... I wanted to be in control of the fighting. And then my uh, pawn is a mage. And they, it, one of the spells instills your weapon with like fire or mm -hmm, with the fire uh, boon, ice. the ice boon, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I, I'm digging that because he also does the healing as well. So mm -hmm. um, I like that build because I, 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 I realized that I ended up wanting to be more tanky than. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, what's the other version? Squishy. Squishy. <laughs> squish, squish. You don't want to be squishy. No squishy. Speedy and squishy. Speedy and not squishy. Did you guys watch the new Ghostbusters movie? I did. Did you? I did not. I did. Did you like did you it? Max? Uh, I did not. Uh, I will not. Like X Men '97, Ghostbusters, Beetlejuice, Joker two, like all these films that are just franchise, like um, franchise hit, farming. Uh, farming. Uh, I, I'm not gonna take part in that. I'm not gonna watch any of it. So it's essentially regurgitation. I'm trying to make yeah. it a thing. Um, it's not as good as the original form. But no, what did I what like did y'all think of uh, Ghost the new Ghostbusters? I didn't like it. Oh, really? uh, I didn't hate it, but I didn't uh, think it was okay either. <laughs> so it yeah, was better than didn't okay. watch Afterlife. Well, see, I didn't really care for Afterlife like a lot of people did. See, I actually hmm. really enjoyed Afterlife. Really? Yeah, I I was just like, okay, it was it was fine, you know, it was fine. Like that's what I thought. I I can't stand Phoebe. I can't stand a little girl. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she's annoying AF. Uh, because in, you know, in the first and the second movie, so I, I, I just I can't stand her. She's so selfish. I like her as an actress. Um, she's she's a really talented actress. Yes, um, the actress her, she is really good, but the character that she is playing mm, is incredibly annoying. Yeah, um, she she's basically an SJW. Yeah, one hundred percent. You just don't like her because she's gay. <laughs> no, uh, no, I don't like her because she had she wanted like this gay relationship with this with this ghost. Like what? Yeah, scissoring yeah. time. <laughs> Scissor me timbers, ghost <laughs> spirit form. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't like that character. I feel like if you can't stand Cassie Lang in Ant Man Quantumania, then there is no reason why you should like this little girl. Oh, I didn't watch Quantumania either, so. Yeah, like everything that happens in this movie is her fault because she, she is so incredibly selfish. And mm -hmm. what bothered me is that at the end of the movie, she gets like praised. And I'm thinking to myself, why are they praising her? They should be angry with her. Everything that happened is her fault. She, the yeah. only thing that does not, the only thing that is not her fault is um, like the, the orb, like the way the orb gets uh, into like Ray's hands and then into like the scientist's hands for it to be open like or not to be open but the where wherever it, it goes to you know um but that's yeah the I only agree. Thing that's not her fault. she everything she, else I, I, is her fault i think that the better character to have like highlighted in this would have been the brown dude even though i didn't like him either but i think his character could have been bit much much done much better Kumail? Unfortunately. Absolutely. Yeah, he annoyed I, the crap it was out actually, of me. It was like, they're, at the very end, you know, they're facing the big, the big bad clawy ghost. Um, and he comes sliding down the pole. Mm -hmm. And everybody's meant to laugh at it. And I'm just sitting there like, 
really? Like, the ghost isn't going to kill him? Like, he's just going... The spirit, this evil spirit, this evil demonic person is just watching him slide down the pole, too. Um, and the way he's coming down is, like, meant to be funny. And I'm like, this isn't funny. Yeah, like, the, the, the comedic frozen. timing is horrible because not yeah. everything has to be funny. And all, and all the guys were, like, a, a joke, essentially. I felt mm -hmm. like... Mm -hmm. the, they always um, make them end the jokes, which I don't understand why that has to be no. a thing. <laughs> yeah, I think you're absolutely right. The brown guy, the the fire god or whatever he is meant to be, um, his oh. character would have been so much cooler if they had taken it seriously, but they didn't. Mm -hmm. um, and then also... Uh, the, the character that I actually liked, which is funny because I didn't like his character in Ghostbusters Afterlife is Paul Rudd's character. You know, oh. he actually had, oh, like... Oh, that's a dad story. Yeah. 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 That was, that's, that's the story that I actually like. You know, he's trying to integrate himself into the family. He's not trying to push the kids to call him dad. And then at the very end, they end up doing it on their own, and he gets excited about it. Like, that's... And he also has, you know, conflict he, with Phoebe when he, try, when he actually steps into the dad role. And, you know, she ends up kind of respecting him and calling him dad at the very end of the movie. So, like, that that's the character that I actually liked. And I didn't like his character in the first movie. <laughs> yeah, I loved his character in the first movie. I didn't like it. Controversy I, here. I, what? Yeah, How dare us not have the same out. opinion? I know. <laughs> I thought this was an echo chamber. <laughs> False advertising. I uh, I pretty much like Paul Rudd in almost anything he does. Yeah. Um, even him in like Perks of Being a Wallflower. He's yes, just like, Damn. I know. He has such a small little role, but it's so so good. Um, yeah. I like him in a. Did you, so you guys know that he's in Friends, right? He's what? He's in Friends. He's in oh, the last five really? seasons of Friends. He's, he's Phoebe's husband. Phoebe. Huh? Yeah, he's Phoebe's husband. Yeah. Mike. Mike, yes. I love Mike. him and I love his character, yeah. I uh I prefer to watch the superior show Seinfeld, but uh oh, I so mean, that's you. Right. <laughs> oh, drama show story. about nothing. Yes, yeah. It's more it's got more than friends, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Causing trouble, aren't we? That's funny. I'm actually rewatching Friends right now, which is funny that you brought it up. I love Friends. Oh, nice. Like, I, yeah. it is it, a a day barely goes by that my husband does not quote Friends. Um, same. My I husband love Friends. Can, like for any situation, he has a quote for Friends. I love that. He's watched it every, se like he's watched every single episode. We own every single season. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> You know what's funny is that like I'm rewatching it on on streaming, and I I can't stand it because like in the box sets you get the actual like run through, whereas on streaming it's how it aired on TV, so there's yeah. like stuff missing. Yeah, we have and the I box can't, sets. I can't stand it. Yeah. Oh, did they? I can, I can just like quote it all the time. Like while it's playing, I can just recite their lines word for word. Oh yeah, wow. I I yell yeah. that in the office. I snip at him office. because he'll uh, he'll start saying something, or a a scene will be coming up, and he'll say the 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 punchline like five minutes before the end of this, <laughs> like f before it shows up. I'm like, oh my gosh! All right, Cameron, you stop spamming, or you're gonna be you're gonna be kicked. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I'm, oh, no. uh, I'm over she's it. Laying down the law. Stop oh, it! Chad. I'm sorry that I did not uh. immediately acknowledge you. If you don't stop, um, you're gonna get kicked. That you know, that's one rule. Any streaming, don't matter. Don't spam, it's guys. Only fair. Don't spam. If you spam again, you're gone. Sorry, dude. She but... means it too. She's scary. She's scary. Um, I'm sleepy oh. and <sighs> I'm just not in the mood for spamming today. Please. Hey, yeah, no, it's only fair. Especially when it's like, hey, there's really only one rule here. My, my one um, rule is be nice. Don't be a dick. <laughs> uh, uh, I was going to say, uh, what were you talking about? Um, uh, 
Oh, Lewis in chat says Seinfeld is for faux intellectuals and potheads. Oh, shit. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you're getting called out there, sir. What do you say to that, Max? What do you say to I that? would say that Friends is for uh, people who uh -oh. eat uh -oh. chicky nuggies uh -oh. and <laughs> don't have an IQ that's past two digits. Oh. No, I'm kidding. What? Oh. Um, Damn, oh, Max, you know it. you don't have to come to Vegas. You can stay home. <laughs> <laughs> now we know how he really feels about us. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, <laughs> considering that those two things are not me, I'm not a faux, what did he say? Faux intellectual, and I've never had oh, pot yes. before. I've never tried pot. <laughs> so uh, um. on both occasions, he's wrong. But um, I just like Seinfeld because it's funny. And I, I play into the Friends versus Seinfeld thing, even though I've never watched an episode of Friends, right? So I can't actually say that I've I like it or dislike it. I just like playing into the controversy. That's funny. I've actually never watched Seinfeld. I've never watched Seinfeld either. Me, me, me. There you yeah. go. Yeah. And I think most Friends watchers tend to stick with Friends, and same thing with Seinfeld watchers. They tend to stick with Seinfeld. Yeah. So. And guess Dom. what? That's okay. Dom, thank you so much. Dom, I know, five right? subs over on Kick. Thank you, Dom. Oh shit. Oh nice. That's cool. Uh, Jason Webster with the five Australian says, I cannot. Mr. H says, I cannot recommend this film, Ghostbusters: Frozen Empire, at all. It was all over the place. I thought it was dog crap. Who's Mr. H? Mr. Mr. H, H reviews. reviews. Yeah. Oh, I don't watch it yeah. then. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I, there were there were way too many characters, honestly. In this oh movie. yes, it, it, it felt it felt really bloated, just like mm. uh, Jurassic Park Dominion. There's way too many characters. They could have gotten rid same. of at least uh, three of the storylines, or, or not storylines, yeah. characters. Um, and yes, another mm. thing is it's too many storylines. Like I I I just want one. You know, why couldn't we just stick with the family and then maybe the flame guy? could have yeah, a story and then leave it at that nothing else mm -hmm. I, I, there there was too many of new people there's too many uh of the same from last one and then the, the old people like it just it was too much too many mm -hmm. um nostalgia bait moments too it may yeah. it takes it away from like the original characters by having some of the nostalgia bait that they had even, I, I couldn't um, stand how they got ready, right? They're they're it's they're doing their last stand in the firehouse. And as if, as if, right, the, the way he showed up was so dumb, as if the, the demon presence was going to knock on the door, and then they open the door and <laughs> it's Bankman. Uh, I'm just like, oh my yeah. god, really? I, I was like I was like I was telling myself too when I was watching them, I was like, it's gonna be Bankman. It's Bankman. Like why would they open the door? Like, they answer the door, really? You think he's going to knock? Yeah, yeah it's a just... nice ghost. <laughs> <laughs> that's, ex that's the first thing you think of when you think of ghosts. Yeah, they're polite. I mean, Casper. <laughs> well, that's one out Casper. of how many. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Boogie, and good morning, uh... I'm sorry, uh, I'm trying to look past the, the mm -hmm. what is it Victor's saying? Favorite crocheted peek ball thank you. I love that one. That was so fun to make. I'm almost the, uh, done crocheted... with the Ira doll that I've been working on. Oh, nice. I can't wait oh, to see cool. it all fully done. You made the pattern yourself, right? For the most part, I've kind of Frankensteined a couple different doll patterns that I found um at least for like the body parts um the only thing i have left is the torso i've gotten everything else done so right. for what doll for yaira making uh oh, yaira okay crochet yaira mm -hmm. pretty freaking cool that's neat yeah i thought you were talking about your uh crocheted um willy mm -hmm. Oh, the pee pee. Uh, no. Yeah. Pee -pee. <laughs> Not this one. Pee -pee. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> well, I want to crochet in... pee pee. Let me... <laughs> <laughs> I want to crochet. I want an authentic mm -hmm. era. Can we? Can, I we should get a crochet uh, little set together, and we can make a a pattern for the pee pee. <laughs> oh. 
Yes. Oh. And then we can we can share we can call it, or... it Max's MV penis. Yeah. <laughs> we should all do a stream in the morning, just crocheting a little um, a pee pee. A little uh, MV penis. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'm gonna call it a uh, dick in the hand. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm making a dick in the hand stream. I don't know. Oh my, my I'm lord! I'm just trying to be clickbaity. Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> you, you you have to. You gotta uh, grab him with that initial title. Oh, grab him by the balls. What? I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> No, but, you gotta. Uh, well, yeah, that little... I mean, if, tr if it was Trump, he'd be grabbing him by the by the vagina. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, puss oh, that's it. The pussy. The pussy. <laughs> pussy. Pussy. Yeah, it's oh, French. My... It's a French word. Yeah. Yes. Oui, oui. <laughs> 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 oh my mm. God, we're children, and I love it. I make myself laugh by stupid jokes. Ugh. Uh, I have a super chat from our good friend Josh, one of our favorite otters. Hi, Josh. Uh, not the favorite otter, because we all know that I take that role, but uh, <laughs> one of our other favorite otters, Josh. He says, um, for $5, thanks, dude. He says, can we agree that we think Max would turn into a middle school girl and giggle at everything if he had pot? Yes. Laughing emojis. <laughs> oh. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's, it's legal in Vegas. I'm just saying. Well, Mark yeah. knows. <laughs> oh, but Mark is all over that. You know, I, I, I for me, I feel like I would get tired. I don't know, oh, I yeah. Like just it, depends the, it depends on the strain, too. So, yeah. Um, and how you eat or inhale it or whatever. Yeah. Really? But yeah. Me, um, I, personally, yeah. And I personally prefer edibles over smoking. I think uh, smoking is the worst way to take it in, but um, if you eat too many edibles, it's actually like a freaky experience because I've yep. done that once because someone left cookies out and I thought they were cookies mm. and I might have eaten a lot of them and I couldn't move. That oh, was what? actually... Oh, no. they, I, they, they basically tucked me in bed and they were like, why did you... I don't know, I'm hungry. I'm like, it's <laughs> weird, but I was like, it's fine, whatever. I'm going to eat it. And they're like, uh oh. Oh um, gosh. I'm only supposed to have like a half, uh, a quarter, sorry, of one, and I might have had two. Oh mm. god. Full cookies? Mm -hmm. Oh no. I had two full cookies. And so, yeah, the next day I was still uh, inebriated, I guess. Hi. Wow. <laughs> still toasted. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. Good thing I had the day off, though. So um, I just slept it off. Thank God. But, yeah, I've only yeah. had one really bad high before, and so after that, like, I, uh, I kind of stopped for quite a while, but, I mean, ever since I met my husband, I haven't, like, sm well, I guess I've smoked once or twice, but I like, I prefer the edibles, because mm -hmm. he doesn't like any of it, he's, he's not a fan of it at all, he's never, he's never smoked, or he's never done anything marijuana related, yeah, I don't, um, I think that's kind of where I sit. I don't necessarily, um, you know, I, I don't judge others who do it. Uh, actually, most of my friends do it, um, depending on, like, what circle we're in or whatnot. Uh, I have a lot of friends who use it medicinally. I have friends that use it recreationally. Uh, you know, especially here in California, it's pretty common. Um, I don't know, just for me, though, I just, I personally, it never really interested me. Um, and I'm a guy who, you know, smoked cigarettes in the, you know, in the military and well, every time I have a beer, you know, I might have a cigarette or something. So it's not that I don't like smoking or I think that it's like, oh, it's so, it's terrible, blah, blah. It's like, I just, it's just not for me. Uh, I don't know. You're like, but, uh, you're already happy being sober. Yeah. yeah. I forgot that you were, I forgot that you smoked cigarettes. Yeah. And I plus don't. when I get, <laughs> <laughs> well, X-rays like, I, I sniff as, I sniff, I the... sniff his cigarettes. <laughs> you do, and it's hilarious. Yeah, it's always funny. I'm like, oh do you want gosh. one? You're like, no, no, no. Just give me, just give me the the cigarette. Just give box. me the box. Yeah. <laughs> just I just want to smell it. Yeah. Yeah, tobacco <laughs> smells really good. Did you, to, did you used to smoke X-rays? So I Pardon? just, 
I just got a super chat from Kara's Whip Cracked Minion for uh, Ooh, 10 pounds. It says, I made nice. six spelling mistakes this week, punished accordingly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> six lashes, I'm hearing. Never mind. I'm kidding. Uh, uh, Steph, what were, you, what were you asking again? Sorry? Oh, I said, were, were you a smoker? Is that why you smoked? No, no. I'm never a like smoker. Me. I didn't really like, uh, I hated the smell of the smoke in, that, in fact. So I just, weirdly enough, like the smell of tobacco. That's it. No other reason. Uh, where's where's Kara's boobs at? They're they're normally in the chat watching us. Yeah. Well, I know they're always did you here tweet, with us, Did you tweet a tweet of your boobs today? I did not tweet anything about my boobs no. today. That's I didn't even tweet that I was live. <laughs> oh no. I've been very I I've just been kinda meh. <laughs> I think okay. um the next opportunity I'm gonna get uh where I show boobies, I'll be like we're we're spreading democracy according to Gary. Yep. Thank you, Gary. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Dom wants Dom wants to know if I'm going to Vegas. I am going to Vegas. I will Ooh. be there. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited for it. Oh my gosh. I'm just excited. Miss everyone so much. Hey, thank you for the follow. I think um, are my allergies getting to you? Yeah, I just I just took my allergy medicine. So mm. I just took my allergy medicine. Josh also has a uh, question for the panel. He says, "Have any of you read the novel A Little Life? I had it recommended to me, then was told it's incredibly sad and depressing, but I've already bought it. So crying incoming? No, I have not yeah. read that. I don't like no. sad things." I yeah. like a good sad cry when I'm reading books, so. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I will. Uh, Do you sometimes guys I'll, like, I'll just need a good cry, and so I'll watch like a movie that I know will make me cry. What's your go-to? Which one? I was about to say, which <laughs> one? <laughs> um, there's there's a couple movies that make me cry. Uh, when Dobby dies in Harry Potter, so I'll put that on. No. Um, or like the Snape scene, so it's the same movie, so the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Um, uh... My girl, <laughs> do you oh have you gosh, seen My Girl? I have. Yeah. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, that movie makes me cry every single time I watch it. So that's a that's my tearjerker movie. Mm -hmm. Mine's always Spirited Away. Mm. Mm. I love I that movie. That. It's so good. I love it. God, that soundtrack is unbelievable. It's so good. Mine, mine is Hold On. When she takes the armor part, I'm just like, oh. that's a good daughter saving her. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, I am a man, and therefore I do not cry. However, <laughs> if I, if, if you I, did, uh, if I were to cry, and this is the only acceptable occasion for a man to cry, <laughs> it is at Boromir's death scene in the Fellowship of the Ring. Ah. I see. I see. Yeah. yeah, very, or... very toxic. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it is, to this day, gut-wrenching for me. Like, um, gut-wrenching. And then, you know, especially seeing Aragorn get emotional as well, um, to have both of these men just at, you know, the both these, these men, these brothers, who have, you know, similar bloodlines, um, both sacrificing both heroes it's just like man there's nothing better than, than this they did it so well and respected it so well it's just wow chef's kiss if you will mm. chef's kiss. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but uh but yeah that's the only time men get it right maybe maybe in gladiator or braveheart Th those are those are exceptions but like i said maybe um uh, oh you know what another like insta cry the first time i watched it uh in up when they do the prologue oh my god oh, i bawled yeah. my eyes out yeah, yeah. Uh, that was like it was an emotional roller coaster like mm -hmm. I, I yeah what was it that's like what seven minutes in total oh. <sighs> yeah they really uh, know how to yeah tearjerker yeah now so that on the again, uh, wow. oh what was it okay so haunting of blind no was it haunting of bly manor bly manor 
that last episode. I cried oh, my yeah. eyes out that entire last episode. Yep, yep, yep. Another another good one. Uh, Big Raj, thank you for the thumbs up super sticker for $1.99. Mm. Cheers to you, sir. Uh, trying to think of other tear jerkers. Hi, gaming. How you doing? Uh, Lewis Whoa. says Marley and me. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I, I, oh my God. I refuse to watch I that movie again because it hurt. so hard in Marley and that me. Hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh. And then um, Hachi. Have you guys seen Hachi? Yes. Oh, no. I cried. What's that? Hachi. It's got Richard Hachi. Gere in it. Richard What's Gere, it about? It's it's the story about this man and his dog and how uh, the dog would always meet the man at the train station, you know, because they were that that was his buddy and everything. But uh, I'll give away the end. Do you want me to give away the ending? So oh, sure. the man. The, the guy, the man commutes, which is why he always takes the train. And so the dog would always wait for him at the train station every day when he came back from his commute at the train station. And while he was away one time, he, he died. And so the dog continued to wait at the train station for his owner to come home. He never did. And they actually erected a statue of him. This is real life, IRL. Yes, it's actually this actually happened. Yeah, it's based on a true story. Yeah, it's based on yeah, a yeah. true story. Yeah, yeah, because I remember hearing that story and I'm like, that's just... We don't deserve dogs sometimes. We don't. Like, no. <laughs> like this. So. Yeah, that's God. really sweet. Well, um, that's a good. It's honey, a good why are you watching my stream while you're at the gym? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jim. <laughs> he says you need Cinderella to get some gym man. Motivation. He says Cinderella man when he goes around to ask for money. I have a um, Oh. Russell Crowe, right? Cinderella Man? Yeah. I think, I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, on the opposite end of that, because, you know, this is a, it's a good good question that, that Josh brings up about, like, books and tearjerkers and whatnot. Have, do you, have you guys indulged in the, uh, you know, Fabio fantasy uh, novels? I read uh, 50 Shades. Are... Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. I love romantic novels when I was younger, so uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> I read 50 Shades and then if you if you do like that kind of stuff but you want some like fantasy uh thrown in, um the Kate Daniels series uh by Alona Andrews is actually really good. So Okay, so Fifty Shades is probably the only se novel series that, or novel of books that would, you know, be considered, like, in that genre, I suppose. And so, like, that's the only thing that I've watched or read is the Fifty Shades books. And I blame that all on my best friend because she made me read them. <laughs> uh, just like she made me read the Twilight books. So I was just like, okay, fine, mm. I'll read them. She got really into them. But so that, the that whole... type of... That type a good of friend genre to do that. It's not, it's That's not a lot of me. books. <laughs> to read. I know. I know. It's not just one. It's like three of each series. It's a series of, yeah, it's a series of novels. But like, uh, she got me. So she took me to go and see. She kept telling me to watch Twilight. And I'm like, I'm not going to watch Twilight. Like, I, I don't. I'm, I'm not into it. I don't want to watch it. And then she was like, hey. My boyfriend doesn't want me doesn't want to go with me to this to the new movie and I think it was New Moon. Um, she goes, Will you go with me? I was like, oh, okay, fine. So I watched Twilight and just so I could know what New Moon was about. And uh, I was just like I was bored the entire movie. I was like, what is this? I don't get it. <laughs> um, and so I Teen went to drama. watch New Moon with her. I know. And I think it was at the was it at I think it was New Moon, because I think at the end of New Moon is when Edward asks her to marry him. Yes. And it just cuts. Okay. So then because I am incredibly impatient, right? I wanted to know what happens next. And I was asking her what happens next. And she was just like, read the novel, read the book. <laughs> and I was like, are you kidding oh, me? Because she knows that I'm so impatient. I just want to know, like, just tell me, right? Like I, I really enjoy spoilers. Like I want to know what happened. Oh, sorry. And it was like, Twilight. Read, read he, she novel. gets engaged. Uh, I believe, and Which then one? at the end of at the end of Twilight, she gets engaged, or at the beginning, and then end of New Moon. That's when she has the baby. Oh no, that's midway. No, no, but no, I no, think no. it's New Moon. New Moon is new moon. 
part one child um came in that's i'm just getting mixed up it's been so long oh so, but yeah she's a yeah so i was like god damn it so i borrowed her books and i read it i was like okay well now i know what happened <laughs> you're a nicer friend than me i wouldn't do it <laughs> if i wasn't interested <laughs> Just frustrated. I was it's, like, you know what? I will read them. I got just, I, just, it, I did it out of spite. I was just mad. I was like, I can't believe you're not going to tell me what this movie is. <laughs> yeah, I think the uh, th the smut novel uh, trend of films came and went, uh, but they have not really ventured into the fantasy, like weird science comics in the chat talking about like the fantasy smut where it's like, you know, the, the, the rebel knight who you know finds the princess and like you know takes her away from the castle and it's like oh, okay what are they gonna do and it gets like all detailed and stuff um i do think it's funny uh who was it uh risk it for a biscuit says uh it was a tearjerker when dumb and dumber when the boobs turned in the headlights yes that was also very <laughs> sad <laughs> yeah a hundred percent and then um weird science again says uh Fifty Shades of Grey was a bit of a jerker, a tear jerker, mm. or just a jerker. Stop, stop, stop and jerker. Hmm. <laughs> you know, Dune too. Oh had my god! I started laughing so hard when I saw that story about the guy who went and watched the I don't know that Kristen Sydney Stewart Sweeney movie. movie. And he, what? No, it was the Kristen. Wasn't it Kristen Stewart? And he like fell asleep with his junk out. No, that was the Sydney Sweeney movie. Sydney That's Sweeney. the that was recent. That was the Sydney Sweeney movie. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, like, yeah. And he, they took oh a picture God, of him. So just passed hard. out. That's hey, that like, guy had you, booze next to him. He had snacks. Yeah, he had his like, hand oh, in his pants. Nice. <laughs> I mean, that guy that was, was so living nice. life. At least he was alone in the theater. <laughs> Imagine. Wait, what happened? I'll Some guy up. was caught with his... Theater? With, with his, his junk out. out in the theater? He passed, yeah, so yeah, he went he to like... watch the Sydney Sweeney movie, and okay. he passed out whenever he was um, uh, doing and the deed. Taking uh, care of business, okay. He was taking care of business, and uh, he uh, was found after the movie with his uh, his dick out and passed <laughs> out in, his, in the recliner chair. Was he uh, not... Um... Yeah, was he not arrested for public indecency? He probably was. No. I don't know. Because I was going to say, I don't think, I don't think you can do that. <laughs> but... Nope. I laughed so and... hard. I was like, that was like that guy's self care night. Like, yeah. like, you know what? Self care. I'm going to do something. Oh yeah, best part. <laughs> yeah, he had, uh, a, you know, alcohol, some tissues, probably ready. Like he had a mm. smorgasbord next to him. I don't yeah. remember if he had food as well. He did. He oh had food. God. He had little tiny, like little liquor bottles. He, uh -huh. had... he, he was everything. ready for it. Yeah. Uh, wow. He yeah, came I, prepared, but he didn't. You're like. <laughs> you're like, is it uh, happy tissues or sad tissues? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hi, Gus. Do you need to go outside, sir? He's being needy. Per usual for Sundays. Mm. Do you need to go outside? Don't look at me, Don't look at me with those big old brown eyes. Aww. All right, let's go. Let's go outside. Bishop asks, how is naked illegal? Um, ask <laughs> the forefathers of your country? I don't know. <laughs> Lewis says... Let's not forget the woman who brought toys to Fifty Shades. Shut Stop. up. Oh my God. <laughs> Is that true? Oh uh, I've what never heard that. that. How did oh people God. not hear the... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the, the vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. Battery operated. Questions I've never thought of. Yeah, I don't questions I don't to. want to think about, no. I paid $20 for a movie theater. I don't want to think that someone's been, you know, taking care of business. This is not a Skinamax. <laughs> yeah, seriously. God, those daters, like, creep me out. Because I think there was one in Toronto that was like that. And you, you can see the, the, the types of people who frequent there. Ah. Sketchy. Sketchy. Gross. 
So, Extra, you said that uh, you've been playing um, Hell Divers and Dragon's Dogma, yeah? Yeah, it's been um, fun. I was going to say, yeah. So, Dragon's Dogma, you like the game mechanics of it, yeah? Yes, sir. How Like how it fights, uh, or how, how the fighting styles are. With Max is like, I'm switching the conversation to something different. I mean, like, <laughs> he's like, I need to do find you want Jesus to talk right more now. about? <laughs> he's like, it's Sunday, we can't be talking. You ladies I mean, need yeah, Jesus. It is, it is Palm is Sunday, Sunday, so oh my god, stop it! Oh <laughs> my god, it is, Happy isn't it? Oh my gosh, I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> Easter's next Sunday. It's so it is. weird that it's in March. Usually, uh, April, right? It's in April. Yeah, it's, it is very weird that it's in March. Well, it's March thirty first. It's like the cusp of April. Yeah. Because it it does it depend on the moon calendar? Or I don't actually know. It's like, um, oh gosh, I think it's technically supposed to be like. Is it supposed to be the first Sunday of April or? Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean the first Monday, maybe? Maybe. I don't remember. I don't know. I'm not religious, so... Could be wrong. I, I'm, I'm not a good Christian. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I just... Whenever, uh, whenever I see my church post, it's Sunday, you know, Easter service. Um... That's kind of how I know. Oh, it's Easter. <laughs> Thank God for social media then. Right. Uh, Mine Ray was, says uh, it's 40 days after a certain moon. Oh, uh, oh okay, okay, okay. Got it. Easter is based it. on the Jewish calendar, which is a lunar calendar. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I only knew because we went to Walmart the other day and there was Easter candy everywhere. So. Yeah. Ooh, I love candy. Do you guys like the little peeps? No. The no. Marshmallow peeps? No. 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 Uh, Too sugary. I'm all about the um the Easter eggs. The Cadbury Easter eggs. Ooh, oh, those yeah. are Jeremy's favorite. He loves the Cadbury cream eggs. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh no 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 no. The well the Cadbury cream eggs are good too, but I like the uh the crispy outside and the just the chocolate inside. Ooh. The minis. Mm. They're the minis, that's what they're I called. Mmm. And then I love buying it uh, the day after because I mean, sales so, because because your Asian yeah. comes yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, hey, I do. It's I do the same thing price. with Valentine's Day candy. I do that it's with Valentine's price. Day candy. Why not? I think it's yeah. silly to buy things full price. If at least if you buy it like one or two days before, might as well just wait. I've I, that's how I shop for clothes. Like since I was in high school, that's how I shop for clothes. I would buy like my summer clothes in the winter time, my winter winter clothes in the summertime. Because it's all on clearance. Like I, it's yeah. very rare that I will find something full price. That's smart. But being resourceful. That's the way to do it. It really is. Honest. And I don't buy trendy clothes anymore, so it makes no sense to buy things yeah, when it's like it, everything just style. goes out of style so quickly. It's like I don't want to keep up with all that. Ooh, I'm excited to show you guys the dress that I bought for Vegas. Ooh. Which yeah. night are you gonna wear it? Because there's three nights in total. Well, I have two of the same dresses in different colors. Is so. that from Halera or Halera? Yes. Okay, Ooh. I have a feeling I know exactly which one. I need to get Is my it the one with the shorts? Thing. No, actually. Oh, okay. okay so you do know. not know what this one is. I'm excited, I love this dress. Sorry, I'm looking yeah, for Yeah, we have brand. to find outfits for so many of those days then. Um, like, literally, gotta look good every day. I know, because, well, I mean, I'm gonna be at CinemaCon. I think, I, I got, I still need to talk to my cousin to iron things out for, for Gary. But, mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm taking Gary to CinemaCon. Um, but I need to figure out the rest of the info for that. <sighs> but yeah, I'm going to be gone for like, I'm going to be away from home for like two weeks almost. Because mm. I'm going for Are you going to try? Huh? Oh, go 
I was going to say, are you going to try and bring like uh, streaming stuff to yeah. still go live at all or no? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably stream while I'm there. I'm going to be with family on Sunday. Um, so I'm flying Southwest. Um, and my cousin mm -hmm. is actually going to be the pilot for my flight from, no way. from, oh, wow. from San cool. Antonio to Vegas. Hell yeah. So small, small world. I, well, I text him um, to. I just text to ask. I was like, "Hey, do you ever fly like from from Texas? Like, do you ever? Because he's based out of Dallas. So I was like, "Do you ever fly from like Texas to Vegas?" He's like, "All the time." I was like, "Oh, I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna be going." He's like, "Just tell me the flight number and I'll pick it up." I was like, "Oh, okay." So That's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, that they oh. could do that. Yeah, One so my cousin is going to be, um, I mean, you got that new camera. Sorry, what did you, what did you say, Jonathan? Uh, have you had the Dr. Pepper chocolate milk? I hear that's a thing. I mean, you got the new camera, Kara. Oh, what that reminds me. I need to go grab that. Um, but no, I have not tried Dr. Pepper chocolate milk. Um, gross. I'm not that gonna lie. sounds yeah, kind of scary. I'm going to go grab my camera, though. <laughs> it sounds scary. It does sound scary. Yeah. Dr. I, I feel like milk. it's an assault of lots of flavors that I don't know if would be good together. Mm -hmm. You know what I saw the other day? I saw a c Coke, like like spicy Coke or something like that. I saw an ad for it, actually. I was I want to just try it just to try it. I don't yeah, think I don't it'll be good, it's, though. It's weird. It's like Coke spice or something like that. Like, it's a spicy Coke. I was like, ooh. Americans weird. think of some crazy stuff. Wonder if we'll be Canada. Why is Canada. Coke be spiky, spicy? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Sugar and spice. <laughs> this room says like spicy Coke rampant degeneracy. <laughs> oh, good morning, Disbrew. How are you doing? Disbrew. Disbrew, I want to play really? more Helldivers with you. That rhymed. <laughs> So this is there's the a guy on there's a guy on um there's a guy on TikTok and Instagram. And he's a, a Brit in America. I don't know if you guys have seen him, like his his videos or his reels and TikToks. But he's like he's a Brit in America and he's always talking about um and defending Americans and their like point of views on different things. Um I wonder if how Disbrew would feel if he saw if he saw mm. that. Interesting. Mm. He has to. Well, typically he makes fun of the Americans, so that would be a. Uh, that would be interesting. I think it depends on the topic. Maybe he'll agree. Maybe he'll disagree. Well, like there was one. There's one thing that he came out about. Like I guess I don't know. He, he and oh, and he also talks about stuff that like he discovers in America. But he's like Americans don't walk. They don't walk anywhere. He's like I was gonna Uber. Right. But if I took an Uber to where he needed to go, it would only take him the Uber, like the Uber drive would only be for like four or five minute drive. Whereas if he walked it, it would take him like an hour. And so he's, he decided to walk it. And he was just like, I can't believe that nobody in America walks. They drive everywhere. There's nobody walking anywhere in America. They drive everywhere. And I'm thinking, yeah, kind of do. You know, unless you're like in a big city where everything's like really tight and close together or you live somewhere like you don't really walk. You just drive everywhere. But he didn't want to. He didn't want to take an Uber. He wanted to walk. He wanted to walk it because the Uber would be super expensive for a four-minute yeah. trip. And then he t I, he started like defending Americans and how like they're not well traveled. And he was just like, "Look, I don't think you guys understand the scope of America. It is huge." Because I guess he's like he's trying to visit all of the states in in America. That's why he's here. He's trying to like do that and visit all the states. Mm -hmm. For as many states as he can, and he's just like it's it's incredible. He goes, I go to one state, and it's completely different to the other state. Everything is a different atmosphere. He goes, so Americans do travel; they just travel inside of America. Like he, was, so he was just like talking about that. He's like, I don't think you understand the scope of how grand America is. It's so funny, but it's it's like the way he describes everything, and the way he defends Americans is hilarious. Oops, I'll have sorry. to watch it. If that's the case, then yeah. I'm just curious what to see the, the, the takes. But, uh, they have yeah. Dr. Pepper flavored peeps. 
Ooh. Yeah, I am trying to notice they're not great. Like, no, thank you. Have you noticed all the Peep merch this year? There's a no. ton of Peep merch. Like, I, I guess they figured that, you know, people don't eat Peeps anymore. They don't really like it. So let's capitalize on how adorable our little bunnies are. So they've just come out with a lot of merch. <laughs> a ton hmm. of it. More than I've ever seen before. I don't like peeps, so. <laughs> I don't even really want to have the merch. I don't, I don't like peeps either, but like the merch is super cute. <laughs> uh, Psychotic Mongoose, thank you for the gifted sub. And Roberto got it. Cheers. Thank you. Psychotic. Nice. Tranquil, psychotic. Psychotic Mongoose, um, thank you for gifting a membership over here as well. Thank you. And the Dr. Pepper is cherry and cinnamon, so cherry and chocolate work eh, i don't know i don't i don't mm -hmm. i'm not a big fan like i'm i'm a dr pepper fanatic you guys know this um mm -hmm. but i don't know i just i'm good i like i don't even like like cheer wine or anything but this is my camera guys so i got the i have a little mount on it right now that way i can kind of set it up and like angle it if i want to um, but I love this camera. It's so cool. I haven't gotten to really use it yet, though. Nice. I am waiting for your stream to catch up here. Um, are you going to, is it your, like, vlogging camera? Yeah, it's little. It's a little camera. Ooh. Oh, Is cool. it the one that X-Ray has? It's, oh, she it's, has the nicer version. One. Yeah, this is the, the new version of it. I have the older version. Oh, that looks sick. That's super cool. I like it. Oh my gosh, I need a link. Yeah, so I just have and those it. are that perfect really for like cute. conventions and yes. just like walking around and stuff. So that'll be cool. And it comes with this little case and it's just it's absolutely perfect. I cannot I cannot wait to like utilize this for Vegas and like I'll probably vlog mm -hmm. most of my trip like to San Antonio um and then from San Antonio to Vegas so nice but, I, I really um, want to try doing more like long form video stuff but mm -hmm. I don't want as weird as this is for our community I have zero interest in doing anything commentary related I don't what just, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Absolutely just not my brand of content. Um, mm -hmm. At least for, like, my channel, I don't mind going on and giving my opinion uh, to people. But it's just not what I want to focus on. I want to do, mm -hmm. like, travel stuff and, like, crafting stuff like this. And that's what makes it's me happy. Good, though. The it's commentary different. stuff yeah. makes me stressed. Mm, yeah, I get that. Mm -hmm. It can be a lot too. Like just trying to keep up with everything, and it can be really demoralizing at times if you're, you know, keeping up with a brand that you like, or you know, trying to, I don't know, justify uh, why someone would say something that's like, you know, you've seen it before, Kara. Like how yeah. hideous people can be. Um, you know, just because of what you believe or what you think or how you vote. Um, and so it can be, it can be really like tiresome if you continue to do that. Some people can distance themselves, but it's, mm -hmm. it's tough. So I, I, I completely understand. And I'm thankful that you know what you want, you know, because yeah. that way you can tailor your, uh, your channel to that. So yeah. Yeah. It does get tiring at times. It's like, it oh, does. how much more can I talk about? Yeah. Disney. <laughs> and there, at, at some point, you have you also get tired of, like, being so disappointed in a lot of things that you like, you know? Yeah. It's just like, yeah. Oh. And, like, my, like, I, I realized this whenever it was, I, I talked to my husband about it a while ago, about how, like, he would mm -hmm. wake up and start his day by listening to, like, the talk, the talk radio stuff. And mm -hmm. it starts, it kind of just kicks off your day with negativity. And mm -hmm. it's just, 
whenever you're just constantly bombarded by like negative commentary or negative news or negative this, like you're, that's all you're going to see is the negativity. And so I try to make sure that I'm still like, like I, if, if I'm going to take in that content, I take it in small doses. That way I'm not overwhelming myself with, um, all of that other, like I'm not, I'm, I just, I don't want, I still want to see the beauty in all, all the content that we have. Mm -hmm. And especially like with Pokemon and all of that kind of stuff. And Wicked Plumber, thank you for gifting five memberships over here. Thank you so much. Wow, nice. Thank yes, you, thank you. Mongoose also, yes, thank you so much for gifting us up. I appreciate that. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. But that's just, I, I try to keep that in mind because... Like, I saw a difference in him, and, like, we talked about it whenever I was starting to notice, like, he just seemed a little bit more, like, irritable or a little bit more grumpy. I'm like, okay, well, let's try, like, taking a break for, like, a week from mm -hmm. that being the first thing you start your day with. And, and I try to do it with myself as well, and it, I did actually see a difference and distancing myself from like social media is good for that as well and that's why I've really been enjoying crocheting is because it keeps both my hands busy like I'll go mm -hmm. hours without even thinking about my phone because I'm just mm -hmm. sitting there focusing on counting or I'll be crocheting and watching a show like like yesterday we were watching Roadhouse and I kept finding myself I doom scrolling. Like and I was mm -hmm. like, you know, I just, I was like, I, I need to, uh, like, cause I'm a, I'm a fidgety person. I don't doom scroll because I want to know what's going on. I, d I do it because I just like, I, I'm one of those people that constantly has to be multitasking. I'm the same mm -hmm. way. I can't sit still. And so that's why I like to crochet or I like doing like little painting things or just something that is mindless enough to where I can do two things at the same time. But mm -hmm. so that's just long story short, I want to make the content that I would watch and the commentary comment that like for me is is not like, don't get me wrong. I love watching all of my friends and getting their opinions on everything but i i watch more vlogs in my downtime and all that kind of stuff like more little crafty stuff yeah so uh, Disbru says like <laughs> Disbru said it keeps both my hands busy is a strange comment for a crocheted penis <laughs> i mean i I mean, it did. It took two hands to make it. it took two hands. <laughs> Love it. Love yep. it. I mean, it was uh, a thick boy. So. <laughs> uh, thank you, Wicked Plumber, for gifting the five memberships on the channel. Cheers, Wicked Plumber. Cheers. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, hail and, and cheers to Wicked Plumber and um, where's Psychotic on here. Uh, they both uh, gift or. Er, Wicked became a member and Psychotic gifted a membership. Uh, thank you guys so much for doing that, you know, for supporting all four of us. Um, it's, you yeah. know, to, for you guys to do that really means a lot, uh, you know, just just because it's like uh, you, you, you continually show your support every weekend and we love to see you guys all the time. And it, it makes us realize that what we're doing is, is something that you guys like and something that y'all enjoy on these Sunday mornings. So, uh, we really appreciate you guys supporting us and thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah, I completely um, forgot Lewis had a, uh, a suggestion for a stream. If we all decide to oh. crochet a PP in the morning, uh, he said stitch and dicks. Yes. <laughs> it's actually perfect. It's I know oh stitch and dicks. I like it. It sounds a little scary, though. Well, I don't know if I Max like would be like, no, I'm not partaking. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you guys do. I'll let you guys do your thing, and uh, chat will be like, Max, why be... are you, why are you doing your own stream? It's like, well, uh, I'm just doing my own thing this morning. <laughs> silly Max. He doesn't yeah. want to hang out with us. We're too vulgar. 
No, I mean, I'm not. We're all, we're all, we all have uh, funny inside jokes and vulgar, you know, little things. But uh, I, I think I'm good not <laughs> stitching any dicks. <laughs> He's like, it's a step too far. <laughs> Plus, I probably wouldn't be that good at it. I'm good at painting models, but I don't know about crocheting. I don't think I'd be very good. <laughs> you never know until you try. <laughs> oh my goodness. The poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> democracy. Yes, I cannot wait to play Helldivers today. Oh my god. Me freaking too. Hashtag me too. Cannot freaking wait to play Helldivers. Um, An so hour and a half. Tell me, tell me more about the Helldivers craze because I see a lot of people on Twitter um, and just like online in general on YouTube and this whole thing, this idea of like bringing democracy to the world and like I think that's so funny. What What is the lore? So you are a soldier. Is it like um, Starship Troopers? Yes. Is it like Warhammer? It's kind of like both of these combined? It's very starship because... starship troopers to where it's a lot of like over the top mm -hmm. satire. Okay. Cuz I I like the idea. I think it's hilarious that it's like you know, democracy. We are colonizing this planet from alien hordes and <laughs> it's like it's so over the top and fun. It just yeah. seems like a blast. Um but and it's just like, a genuinely you know, good thought... shooter game. Like, mm, it's just really? chaotic, but but in a good way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw a tweet nice. that they banned sex in the game. Interesting. Because you didn't c complete missions or something like that. What was that about? I have no idea. Never heard that. No? Yeah. I, I have read. no I idea. I hadn't heard I saw anything that, about that. I saw that same tweet stuff, um, but I, yeah. like I said, I have no context. So. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I had no context. I was like, that's weird. They just Maybe okay. someone in chat knows? Chat, tell me. <laughs> speaking, of, um, speaking of Twitter, and I know you guys were talking about it like just a little bit ago. Um, I agree with what you were saying, Kara, because... When I start my day, like if I wake up and I grab my phone and I immediately start looking at Twitter, I've I've found that my whole day seems to be a little bit gloomier um, because of, like you said, doom scrolling. And like yeah. the first thing you see is like, you know, this this you know uh, this type of like violent attack or this type of. Um, you know, publicity and hatred and, you know, this thing or like whatever it is. And I've noticed that when I don't look at Twitter, like most of the day, uh, though I don't feel like I'm in the loop, I feel so much freer and just like my, my whole mindset is completely different when I'm not on Twitter or Instagram. Um, and I have noticed a like visible difference. So I think it's good to get off that stuff every now and then. Yeah. Yeah. I it's, miss it's being healthy. on vacation in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, it's like any vice. Like, moderation matters. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, uh, so I found the tweet. It says, sex is now banned in Helldivers 2 because players failed their last major order. And it says, major order failed. Uh, though, many, though many termines have been mercifully culled, the Helldivers were unable to penetrate as far as inside quarantine zone is ordered. The expansion of our citizens to new planets uh, will be reduced in line with the reduction of expected element 710 to be produced. Further procreation applications will be denied until further notice. Oh my mm. gosh. And is it from the official account or like post yeah. that? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> It was like two days ago. I, I saw that and started laughing. I was like, what the heck is hell? I don't understand what's going on with this game. <laughs> no reproducing for you. No well, reproducing for you. No procreation. I mean, Starship yeah. troopers, you're not allowed to have babies unless... It's like it... sanctioned by the state or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it makes sense at the very least in that world. Yeah. 
fail so you don't get babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeremy says we can 3D print a penis monster for Max to paint. Oh, Ooh. Jeremy. Great thinking. Yeah. Thank you. It's everything he's always <laughs> wanted. I can't wait for you to send that and then you bring it to the post office and then you're like, I need a, a package for this package. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> Pikachu looks awesome. Well done. Thank you. Yes. He does look good. That yellow is striking. Yeah. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I just got to redo the brown on the back, and then I should be I done. It. So. Looks so cute. And uh, X-Ray, that's mouth. Zorro. That Zorro's really coming together. It really is. Mm -hmm. There's only I feel a couple like I'm... things left, oh, like little lines. Just a couple little lines left, that's it. Yeah. I feel like I missed um, a good portion of you painting that last weekend. Uh, when I missed last weekend, oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, well, I did the 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 big chunks of like I had two pots for one color and almost finished, and now it's all these like intricate little lines that I have to fill in now, which is annoying because I always keep missing them, and oh, no. I keep having to like clean my paint paint uh, paintbrush, and then blah, back and forth, back and forth, and I don't like doing that because it's not good for the brush either. Yeah. I'm using my nice brushes for this. What kind of brushes do you use? Uh, I believe these are the ones from the Warham when I bought the Warhammer stuff. This is oh, cool. Army Perfect. Painter small dry brush. Obviously, it's not using it dry for its intended reason, but I like the angle <laughs> uh, that it has. It works for this. Nice. Uh, oh. Andrew Matthews with the two pounds says my ex is filled with doggos and fellowship. Yes. Hey, that's that's I mean that's a good way to 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 that's a good stuff to have on your timeline. Just make sure you're like as much as I love the interaction, make sure that uh you're 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 really interacting with those doggo videos and. That way you're seeing those a little bit more often too. Like I do that with a lot of like art. I watch, I follow a lot of artists on Twitter mm. and um, mm. like video game stuff. So like specifically like video game art and that's that stuff I follow quite a bit. Yeah, and that's cool. That's I can smart. always tell when uh, I've been interacting with that stuff more because that's more of what my my timeline is filled with, and uh, it's just it's it's nice. It's a nice little break. But yeah, oh my god, I'm almost done with Pikachu, and then I get to do Legos. Lego. Oh yeah, you need to do your um. What Lego what build that? are you gonna do? I'm gonna do the crane, the game, the crane game one first. The oh, claw. The claw. Yeah. The <laughs> claw. From uh, what? What was the? What was the arcade pl pizza castle? Pizza planet. Yeah. Pizza planet. Pizza planet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God, Toy Story is like S tier. It really is. Nostalgia. I miss those times when things were good. Mm hmm I do. And what's crazy is like when I watch, you know, Hercules or Mulan or Toy Story or like any of the films of our childhood, it's not like, oh, nostalgia. I love this. It's like this is a legitimately like good film, you know, and mm -hmm. I think that's what a lot of people, you know, um, same thing with comics, like. I'll review a comic and someone will be like, oh, well, it's just nostalgia. You just like it because it's nostalgia. It's like, no, dude, I like this because it's actually like really good and it's aged really well. Um, and I don't I don't think a lot of people, you know, there, there is a lot of nostalgia with it, of course, but uh, a lot of these things just age like fine wine. They're timeless, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll be right back. I need to go grab tissue. Okay. okay. 
I agree. I agree. And like a lot of the movies that I'm watching that are like old that I haven't seen, it you I just get enveloped in it because it's good. Oh yeah. yeah. Like I watched Demolition Man for the first time this week and oh my god, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And so that led us into a uh, a uh, a rabbit hole of all these other different movies that I need to watch. So uh, it's been it's been fun uh, going through and like like my husband is just like okay you need to watch this one you need to watch this one we're gonna add this one to the watch list we're gonna watch this. So, like, Good I think you. our next movie that I'm going to watch is Commando. Ooh. Excellent. Yeah, that's what uh, Josh and I are doing right now. We're working our way through the Buffy series, and um, nice. that's been a lot of fun. We just watched the episode um, where we find out kind of Angel's origin from season one. Mm -hmm. Uh and oh man i'm i'm on the angel train baby he is so cool now he has such um, the best oh, i'm um, i'm at the end of season two right now is where ooh, i'm okay. at and, all right oh, i'm gonna be catching up with you soon yeah it's so um, good yeah uh, i'm i'm really digging it so far and and that's even like you know josh and i always give it a hard time because it's you know season one does have like funny little 90s dated things but for the most part I, I i really enjoy it so victor's asking back to 3d material would you suggest a clear overcoat on the finished painting or is it better as is i mean you can do either one um i'll probably do a a clear coat over this um just cuz but I mean, you can you can go without doing a, a clear coat over it. It's just all about preference. So. Oh, and I watched, what did I watch last week? Uh, Big Trouble in Little China, I watched for the first time. Oh, nice. Oh my god, I, I loved it. I never sat through that movie. I need to watch that again. I keep forgetting it. Like, I don't remember much about it. <laughs> Yeah, like I don't I, I know that I've seen bits and pieces of it and I know what it's about. I just like never really like actually sat down to watch and finish it from like start to finish. I I loved it. It was I, I just I couldn't look away. It is just it's one of those where I just it was just absolute every single scene was just hilarious. Sorry, I'm trying to get into this little nook where the tail is. Um, I think it was... Uh, was it Rizgit? I'm trying to find it on... Um, Rizgit for the Rizgit. Someone oh, on man. my chat... Yeah, it was Rizgit. Uh, he was saying that he's really looking forward to your content with the new ca uh, camera. Kara, oh, so. thank you. Yeah. Also popping in some uh, member emojis. Oh, I love those. Those are so funny. Thanks for uh, thanks for the emojis, dude. And really um, yeah, if you guys want access to emojis and after party shows and uh, some additional content, you guys can join the membership. Um, yeah, after I'm gonna party go. Content. It really, it really is, huh? Um, I've had Steph. Steph, you've been in the chat on after party stuff. You even came on one to, on one of the uh, when you were uh, testing it member, yeah, like streams that we were testing it for. Mm -hmm. So that was a lot of fun oh, too. Yeah. Very fun. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna grab some coffee, and I shall return. I'm like, I want more coffee. God, <laughs> no. I need a I'm just I'm savoring the last few drops of my coffee right no. now. No. I still have a little bit left of mine. Jealous. Jealous. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Apollo. Oh, my gosh. What's up, Apollo? Uh, I don't know if you guys... Do you remember X-Ray Apollo Patriot? Uh, I don't remember him. He's like an OG, like, watcher. Vaguely? Mario Kart? Right? Yeah. Yeah. He would always be in the chat. Still around. Apollo. He's making um, own... He's, 
Those days were good. <laughs> I, I do I know. miss playing it a little bit. Uh, sh shout out to the people who still play it after how many years now? Because <laughs> I, I, I just was never good at it. And so I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I have I have a once a week streams where I play it with the chat. Noise, so, noise. Yeah, they make me better. Uh, my favorite. Uh, was it Lyndon? Lyndon was streaming. My favorite Mario Kart moment was him, and then he found Dan Vask in the yeah, Mario world. Yeah, he found world. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> just practicing yeah, for like playing, yeah, practicing. He's like, is that Dan Vask? <laughs> <laughs> it was. Oh, <laughs> it's amazing! It's like, what's the chances of that happening? Yeah. Oh, Apollo says he go he said I'm the one that made a thousand memes and messed up the website three times. Do you remember that? Like he he would make the craziest like just off the wall memes of everybody. I love me. And he oh. uploaded like a thousand of them to the website. He was just he kept doing it over and over and over. And then broke the this is it. He broke the website three times. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Why well, gotta go break we'll shit? Go, you go down in legend. He's a legend. He's, he's uh, deep in the G and G legend lore. The war. What's up, Sate? Yeah. How you doing? Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did check out the trailer for the Penguin Michael. I did. We talked about it earlier, actually. I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm really disappointed that I didn't like a. Uh, Ghostbusters? The new Ghostbusters movie. I'm kind of disappointed uh, in that. Have you, you know, guys I, seen... Oh, go ahead. Oh, it's going to be... I, I expect most of the time to be disappointed by anything lately, so... Yeah. Expect the I worst, know. hope for the best type of scenario. I was actually going... I was going into it optimistic. Like, even though I didn't really care for the last movie, it was still okay. Like, it was still fine. This one, though, I, I really didn't like it. Like, I'm 20 minutes into the movie, and I'm already like, oh, man, this sucks. Oh, mm -hmm. I think a large part of it for me is just, like, it feels like a battered wife syndrome where, you know, you keep hoping for the good stuff, but then you keep getting disappointment after disappointment, and it just, it never improves for the most part. Mm -hmm. Once every now and then you get, like, a good movie out of how many. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then you just end up expecting always the worst. Problem. Did you guys ever go? Did you guys ever see Wonka? I loved Wonka. I Kara did. Oh. oh my gosh, I really loved that movie. I absolutely loved Wonka. I watched it with Chris yeah. Moore before it came out in theaters. And oh, did you? Yes. Oh and man, I absolutely I loved, it. loved it. Yeah. And like, I was very hesitant like, about no, watching I don't want it too. To see it. Yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, it's not going to be good because, you know, Johnny Depp's version is still fresh in their mind. And also, you know, no, 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 Gene is going to be like the only Wonka, whatever. Um, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see how it goes. I loved it. I, I, I watched it three times in theaters. Like I yeah. kept going and seeing it. Three times? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, my God. I kept, That's serious. I was having like, <laughs> yes, if I was having, like, a, a rough day or just, like, I was feeling, like, kind of sad, I would just go and watch Wonka. Like, I loved it so much. Wow. Wow. Andrew Matthews, so you are correct. Colin McGregor cannot act in Roadhouse. But his naked scenes were hilarious. Oh, my God. Colin McGregor in Road. I could not take him seriously. Oh, no. But I think... X-Ray has a point because I think a lot of people just noped out on Wonka regardless of whether it was good because they're just like, why am I going to watch another movie from a fran- like, why are they trying to make the Charlie Charlie and the Chocolate Factory a franchise? You know, like, why are they trying to make this a universe now where it's like, we're doing Wonka's origin story and it's like, no one asked for this. So, um, at least that's my take, mm -hmm. even with X-Men 97. Yeah. Um, I've been hearing really great things, and I think that the uh, animation looks great. Uh, but for me, mm. I, I don't need to see it. I have the original 92 and 93 series. Like, I, I just, it doesn't interest me. Like, do something new. Um, and they just, we're, we're not getting that. And it's unfortunate, but. Um, well, I, the, I actually, uh, oh, go ahead. I went into Wonka 
not knowing what to think. I was like, okay, you know, I'm just going to give this movie a chance and see how it goes. Yeah. You know, but I, I ended up loving it. That was my, that was my feeling exactly. Like, Chris was just like, oh, well, like, if you like musical, like, because I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to want to watch this. Because I, w- w- I was just hanging out at his, at his apartment until X-Ray got into town for LA Comic Con. And mm-hmm. I was just genuinely surprised. Like, because I did yeah. not go in with, like, I was like, oh, this looks like it's going to be cheesy. I don't like, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to like this. He's like, no, give it a shot. So. I love and it I, so much. I still watch it. Like, I'll, I'll put it on in the background. <laughs> and have it on. It's so good. Is it just, like, whimsical? <laughs> or what, what about it makes it, um, like, is it just really fun or goofy or... It's fun. It's whimsical. What I like about it truly is that, like, you know how in Solo, right, there's just origins to everything. Okay. Oh, yeah. Like his gun, his name, all that yeah. stuff, right? And I was just like, oh my God. Because I, I, in the back of my mind, I was thinking, ah, oh, they're going to, you know, probably, it's, a, it's supposed to be a sequel to the original Won- Willy Wonka movie. And I was like, oh man, they're going to explain everything and they're going to give him this backstory and it's probably going to be lame. Um, you know, that, that went through my mind, right? That went through my mind, but I went in and I'm thinking, okay, I'm just gonna, let's, I'll give it a shot. Let's see what it's about. They don't really explain much. They He's don't. Just and I like that. Yeah. Yes. I loved it. I love that. He's just, he's just Willy Wonk. He's just magical. He can just do stuff. They don't explain it at all. They don't hmm. explain how he got any of his ingredients. He just has them. You know, it, and it's so neat. That's what I love about it. I, I loved that they didn't explain anything. They just kind of still left that, 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 w- that sense of wonder. And I, yes. Yes. They left up to the, up okay. to your imagination. It's so wondrous. It's so, it, it's such a great movie. Yeah, I was, it's, it's one like, I've been trying to talk my husband into watching it. And he's like, oh, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But like. <laughs> One of my favorite movies, one of my favorite musicals recently was um, The Greatest Showman. Oh my god, I freaking love that movie. I so love much. The Greatest Showman. <gasps> it is such a I good movie. It. Oh, it's mm-hmm. so great. And I'm finally done with my shocked Pikachu. He's so cute. Nice. Oh he's so cute. You look so good. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. <laughs> Oh my you gosh, that looks so me. great. I cannot wait to post him. He's is... so cute. We made it. You need <laughs> to put him next to the uh to the uh little Johnson Double? you have. Oh the little pee-pee. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, he, oh, he, he that shocked... would be a good reaction. Yeah, he shocked <laughs> the pee-pee. Cute. Have I seen the original Roadhouse? No, I have not. Um, but we that did add it to been. the watch list. Um, but I don't, I just, I freaking, I, right? Or Jake Gyllenhaal just needs to drink some water in Roadhouse. He, his, his muscles <laughs> are way too, uh, bulging. Um, uh, but I just, I just, I really enjoyed, um, I really enjoyed Greatest Showman. I really enjoyed Wonka. I was just genuinely happy whenever i watched those movies they just kind of have they just like the greatest show the soundtrack for greatest showman is one that i'll put on like if i'm having a rough day and i need to get like motivated to do something uh, i listen also, to that soundtrack almost daily Zendaya. that will be one thing i like her in yeah because mm-hmm. that that mm-hmm. worked really well for her wheelhouse <laughs> so. yes such a great movie. If you haven't checked it out, you need to watch The Greatest Showman. It's, it's really, really movie. good. If you like yeah. music falls, if you don't, don't worry about it. I understand. I, I mean, tried to make Mark watch it. He was like, "Nah, this is not my thing." <laughs> <laughs> no, like we, my husband, my husband and I went and go, went to watch it in theaters, and then like right. we both went mm-hmm. to go use the bathroom after the movie. And by the time we met back in the uh, um, like in the hallway, he had already bought the soundtrack for it. Oh well. Wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. so yes, well. it's so good. It's so it good. Very good. good. I I had it on like full repeat for a couple of months. So. Oh, easy, easily. Uh, favorite uh 
piece in it, I think, is the one where that the, they're at the bar. What's that song called again? Shoot. The other uh, side. From Juan. That the one or side. the other side? The other side. I yeah, other I really side. like the other side. I yep. like Rewrite the Stars. It's one of my favorite songs. No. I oh, really like yes. the Never Enough one. Oh, her voice. So so the girl that plays Jenny Lynn doesn't uh -huh. actually sing that song. She doesn't. She it was a girl that was actually, was she oh, on American Idol or was she on The Voice? Yeah. I think it was The, was she on The Voice? I think she and was it's on the funny voice. because I thought it was The Voice, not American Idol. I don't know. One of the singing um, shows. Yeah, one of the singing shows, but she she was just like I could I cannot sing this song as good as her, so I'm just gonna let her have it. There's yeah. no way that she could. That she and could they sing really song. they they really worked with each other to learn each other's movements and mm -hmm. how they sing and how they breathe. Like they really worked with they worked well with each other on making it look yeah. like Rebecca Ferguson wasn't Authentic. just like, lip syncing. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think she's the only one that does that lip syncs in that movie. Everybody else sings. She is. She's the only one who does. Yeah, she's the only one who lip syncs in that movie. Um, Michael says, A Million Dreams is my favorite song. Oh, I love that song, too. Yeah. I, honestly, the whole soundtrack is so good. It really mm -hmm. is. Like, every it, single it really song is in there. It's kind of hard to, like, pick a favorite, even though, like, I love Rewrite the Stars. After that, it's like, I don't even know what song I would pick after that. Oh, uh, that beginning really song good. with the... Uh, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. oh it just starts on fire. Oh, I love it. <laughs> do, do. Million dreams. Gosh, it's just so good. All right, guys, it is noon, so I need to get some I'm food. I'm starving. Oh I know, I'm so hungry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it is almost done. Oh, it actually looks very good from behind. That's oh, that's what she said. said. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Would that be more of a that's what he said or that's what she said? Both? Maybe both? He? I would say he. Oh, I would hope he, but you know. <laughs> I don't judge. Don't do it with me. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what she said. I'm just saying. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to do that out chat. I will. I do have the stream set up to redirect to uh, the Hell Divers stream for Sunday Fun Day. Um, mm -hmm. And obviously, if you're not following the lovely people in this channel or in this chat, uh, make sure you're going and hanging out with them as well. Uh, yeah. Steph, you stream. Are you streaming again later today? I am. Yes, I have mm -hmm. Talk Nerdy, and then I will be streaming. I will be gaming later Wait, on. Wait, is kick Talk Nerdy well. officially on Sundays now? It is. Yeah, it's officially oh, on Sundays. We switched okay, it around. Okay. I think nice. I think and then, perfect. Max, Max you've got Max's cave? man cave tonight, right? I do. Yeah, I'll be doing that tonight. Uh, we'll be talking about crowdfunding comics. We'll be talking about just films in general. And then we should be talking about some X-Men 97 reviews because Josh actually did watch it and has some really great things to say about it. So, um, yeah, so we'll get his review. And so, yeah, I'll have the guys on tonight and that'll be a lot of fun. But uh, thanks again Love for me. hanging Love out me. this morning and uh, pimping yeah. our channels. And then X-Ray. Uh, uh, Sunday fun day. In an hour and uh, Forbidden Frontier, 6.30. So, nice. Yeah. And then I've got Sunday Fun Day here in an hour. And then uh, from there, I will be going to George the Giant Slayer's stream. Um, nice. To, uh, and I'll be on there with Eric this evening. Uh, and Gary as well. Gary will be on there too. So. Uh Say hi to those guys for it. Oh, and by the way, X-Ray, I didn't even tell you because I was gone last weekend, but congratulations on one million. One sorry million? sorry to tell you in person. Yeah, I was like, you know. wow, congratulations yeah. on what? Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. you know, it's, it's mostly Gary. I just uh, assist where I can. Yeah. <laughs> we, we all know that Gary would be a blind man and you're helping him walk across the street, okay? We oh, are... <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> We all know how much you do for him and how hard you work, so we, yes. we appreciate you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Uh, but yeah, follow all these lovely people, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
Thanks, good guys. Bye, See you everybody. Tonight. Good night, every or Good night. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> good night. Bye. Okay, bye. Thanks for hanging out with me.